Hey guys, welcome back to the garden. I'm pruning like a mad woman and I want to talk a little bit about that, but mostly I want to show you how things are growing in the old vegetable garden and in the greenhouse. But as you can see, uh, I'm making piles and piles of cut offs from, from this uh, lilac um, uh, hedge and uh, when these are so small, I don't usually weave them into uh, this living fence uh, because it's too much work and also they compost pretty quickly. But every sort of th three years I, uh, I get the tops cut off and I weave that into this living fence to strengthen it and um, lots of blackbirds uh, love uh, to make nests in here and uh, it, this fence is keeping out, um, keeping out the deer that are in the area. So it, I think it's actually a really good way to have a living fence. Uh, but I must say today I'm, I'm a little annoyed with this because it actually in every year it grows like at least one and a half meters out and I have to cut it back. Um, it's some work, but that's okay. Uh, also this year I'm doing it earlier because I planted lots of lovely, lovely new flowers here and I want them to have the morning light and if all these lilacs are hanging down, they get too little light, I think. So uh, that's, uh, that's the job. <laughs> I'm sort of halfway or more than halfway, I think. But I want to show you uh, what's growing uh, in the old vegetable garden. You see more piles uh, this way. Uh, I only have like maybe 10, 10 meters or something in the end. Uh, and then I need to do it on the other side, but maybe uh, in fall, I think. So this is the old vegetable garden and I'm whining about having uh, annuals this year because it's so dry. But I wanted to show you this anyway because I actually I have these pak choy and they now they really need water in, uh, in the evening because they are sort of floppy. So, um, but I think it's beautiful, beautiful color and they actually seem to be thriving also. And um, these are also a favorite, I think I have them every year. I collect the seeds. These are wasabi rocket. So they have an amazing taste of wasabi and, and uh, rucola or rocket at the same time. So these are amazing. Um, some Swiss chard. But uh, when you look at it, actually all of this Swiss chard uh, has been self-seeding this year, so I didn't have to make any plants. It's just uh, excess, um, but that's okay. And uh, then I wanted to show you uh, the results of this uh, salad or lettuce fortress that I made with brambles. Um, and it looks, uh, it looks really good. I think it's filling out now, so I need to water less. Uh, three, four, five different kinds of uh, lettuce, uh, some minus lettuce also, and, um, and a few herbs. Uh, but I haven't seen uh, any slugs. Maybe that's because of the brambles, or maybe it's because it's so super, super dry right now. Maybe both. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm um, I'm enjoying this bed of lettuce and uh, making lovely, lovely salads every day. Um, a few uh, squash plants, but other than that, this is what I have. Um, but I wanted to show you um, uh, what I did in in the greenhouse this year because I took a chance on some tomatoes early on and I think it has paid off and I just sort of finished tying everything up and uh, removing a lot of this um, seedless grape that I have growing here and actually this is enough to sort of uh, act as a curtain. Right now it looks pretty naked because I cut most of the leaves back so that uh, tomatoes would get enough light and all the grapes would also get enough light to ripen. Um, these are my favorites. Oh, they're so good. Um, but 
I wanted to show you this. These tomatoes were uh, a few varieties that I uh, seeded myself this year. And I put them out here really early, even if it was super cold and a very sort of long cold spring. But if you have a look, even now, lots of tomatoes. So sometimes a gamble like this can pay off. This means that I won't, it won't be long until we have our first greenhouse tomatoes, which is something I love it. Um, these crystal lemon cucumbers are looking amazing and um, a new experiment is I'm trying to grow uh, watermelons because we love watermelons in our family and uh, I had um, I had a melon that did really well uh, last year so I thought I'd try the watermelons uh, we will uh, <laughs> we will get the verdict on that later on in the season um, but if you look, if you look at the difference between the tomatoes on this side that I put out really early and then these tomatoes uh, that I had later on, I had them from a wonderful friend that always make a lot of tomato plants for me, which is super lovely. So some are her leftover uh, big ones that she doesn't have space for, but she also makes a lot of uh, these um, side shoots she makes me a box of side shoots and i can plant them and they actually i i wouldn't say that they are giving me tomatoes as early as the other plants but very early so they really catch up uh, really well so for for a couple of weeks they are just sitting in these uh, bags and looking like they're doing nothing and then suddenly it's like they grow 10 centimeters um, in a day um, so I think everything is looking happy and healthy and so am I <laughs> thanks for watching see you later